In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a word search puzzle using the program Word Search Printer, which you can get from wordsearchprinter.com. The first step is say, click the large button that says create a new word search puzzle. Now, when I click that button, I'm given a dialog box which gives me a choice of templates to start my puzzle from. I can choose a blank template, or I can choose an existing word list, like list of months, list of distant groups of animals or dinosaurs, different places around the world, different terms relating to computer science and so on. But I'll start by choosing a blank uh, puzzle to start from. Now I get to list my words. Now I've chosen, I'm going to create a puzzle relating to music. So I'm going to enter the names of a few terms relating to music. Music, notes, stave, clef, perhaps the name of a few musical instruments, piano, organ, and guitar. And there's my puzzle. Uh, I'm seeing a preview of the solution to the puzzle, and if I don't like that particular version, I can just click this button here and update it until I get the particular layout that I like. I can also change the size of the puzzle. I can make it larger like so, or I can make it smaller. Uh, of course, I need to make sure it is actually big enough to accommodate all the words. So, for example, if I choose a very small grid, the words don't actually fit. So, there's my puzzle. Uh, now, when the puzzle is ready, I can print it out. So, I just click Print. But I'm going to show you Print Preview, so you can see exactly what the print would look like. If I do Print Preview, the first page of the uh, document is the puzzle itself. When I click Next Page, you have the list of words and the last page is the solution. So that's ideal for a classroom or community group use. Uh, now another situation in which you might want to use the program is if you're creating a puzzle to go in a newspaper or a magazine or something like that. Now in that case you probably wouldn't want to print directly from this program but instead want to transfer the puzzle, the word list or the solution into your word processor or desktop publishing program. So the way to do that is if you go onto the edit menu you can go to copy, you can copy the word list puzzle or the solution. So I'll copy the word list here. But before I do that, I'm going to first of all sort the words into alphabetical order. So you can see now they're alphabetical. Now I'll copy the word list. And if I switch to my word processing program, I can say uh, paste and the word list is now inserted in there. And if I want, I can also insert the puzzle as well. Here is the puzzle. So I'll go back to the word search printer program say copy the puzzle. Now I get a choice of sizes. I'm just going to use the default. Uh, click OK. Go back to the word processor program and once again I'm going to do a paste and there's the puzzle inside the word processor program and I could print it out. And I could repeat the same process if I needed to copy the solution into my word processor program. But instead of doing that I'm going to show you a couple of other features of the program. Uh, one thing that you might notice is uh, the footer here, wordsearchprinter.com you can change that, you can remove it. Now the way to do that is if you go into the program here, you use the format menu. If I choose layout, there's the footer, I could remove it completely, I could change it to something else, I can also add a header. And when I'm printing from within the Word Search Printer program, I can choose whether to print the puzzle, the word list, or the solution, or whatever combination I like. I can also change the colours that the puzzle and the solution are displayed and printed in. Uh, so for example, we're previewing the solution at the moment, so if I was to say I want to change the background colour, I can do that here by changing that, say, for example, to light green. Click light green, click OK, and you can see it's now changed to light green. Uh, and I can do all that to customise the appearance of the printouts at exactly how I want it. There's a couple of other nice features that are quickly worth mentioning. Um, if you're creating a puzzle for younger children, you might, for example, not want to use diagonal directions or um, bottom to top or right to left because those are very hard for the younger kids to find the words in. So uh, you can turn off the word directions that you don't want. I'm going to just turn off the diagonals here and you'll see now the puzzle is only using horizontal and vertical directions. Um, and no matter what, how many times I update that, it stays like that. Um, I can also um, create specially shaped puzzles. So for example, if I'm creating a uh, puzzle relating to Christmas. I could create the puzzle in the shape of a Christmas tree. If it was a plane about puzzle about um, airplanes, or I could create an airplane-shaped puzzle. And if I wanted to create a puzzle 
writing music. I could, if I was a good enough drawer, perhaps create one great into a musical stave or notes or something like that. So I'll just show you a very simple example of creating a Christmas tree shaped puzzle since that's relatively easy for me to draw quickly. So what I'm doing here is I'm turning off those squares in the grid that I don't want to be uh, used for the puzzle uh, itself. So something like this would create a Christmas tree. As you can see, I'm not uh, fantastically good at drawing, but you can get the rough idea of what I'm aiming for. And if I do that and click OK, there's my Christmas tree shaped puzzle. Um, you can see at the moment I'm only using horizontal and vertical directions because I still got that setting from earlier. But again, I could um, re-enable the diagonals and create the puzzle using those two. So that's it. I hope you have a uh, um, enjoyed this demonstration. If you want to try out the program, go to wordsearchprinter.com and you can download a free trial version of the program. The free trial version of the program does have some limitations, but it does let you get a good idea of what the program can do and whether it's for you. And if you like it and want to access all the features shown in this demo, uh, you can follow the instructions on the website to purchase the full version of the program. Thanks for listening.